Alright then everyone, hello, and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Let's actually climb up to the top of Narsh this time. The last huge walking segment in this area. Okay, this is Shadow. Throw your fire scrolls. Miss. Hit. Okay, this is Strago. One, two, three, four... Wait, what? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I'm used to... Getting, I'm used to having Locke as the other person on Strago's controller slot, so I messed that one up. Okay, uh, I want to select Earth Blues with you. Apparently that didn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's got to be Terra, unless the Shadow is uh, even more fast than I thought he was. Although Shadow showed up only a couple seconds later, but still is pretty darn fast. No counterattacks, that's nice. Now I'm getting counterattacks, but Terra can take it because she's got so much HP. Actually, I'm starting to worry now that she can't take it because that's a lot of attacks. Uh, okay, goodbye. Let's just uh, double check real quick that no one's dead somehow. Didn't think so. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Three Cure spells. That means Terra must have taken a lot of damage there because she heals about 400 with her Cure spells, so she's not going to be healing very anyone else really for three Cure spells. That shadow doesn't matter really. I can just keep pounding away at these guys like I've been doing. For some, like I said before, I kind of link those sounds to certain things in my head, and that sounds like Chocobop for me, so <laughs> kind of weirded me out for a moment. But whatever, Wump's pretty darn good, so. And Terra's really eating <laughs> the strong attacks here. Goodbye. That's the end of you. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. I'll just trust that that worked out for the moment. All the way to the top, which I still might not get there because this is another ridiculously long straight path. Seems like I made it there right, all right after all, though. Now I go right and up. Narsh isn't as hard to navigate as it looks like at first glance. And I've already climbed here once, so... I... well, once besides in the BFLG. I've essentially climbed this place, like, twice by now. If we count both runs. So, I guess I'm getting pretty familiar with it by now. <laughs> guess I should be familiar with it, considering it's like the first location in the game. Left and up. Alright, making some progress here. I've almost made it to the mines. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to tell whether the next battle is inside or outside the mines, which is unfortunate, but... Now I go right and up. Alright, I'm starting to think that if I get a battle, it'll be inside the mines rather than outside. Could I have really made it all this way without a battle? Because I'm starting to get antsy that something went wrong. Whoa, okay, never mind. That's now the, now in the complete opposite of antsy here. Alright, so this is Shadow. I can kind of uh, do trial and error expecting him to come up first. Is the smog or Shrago? It's smog. Water Rondo. Because lots of things are weak to water here, not that you know it by the fact that he keeps stumbling. That's not very helpful for anything. This is Terra. I'm being dumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's conserve MP, Terra. Since she's my healer and all that as well. 
and I'm on race right now. Let's just go back up to the top. Arrow also starts with a bad breath, Black Omen. Oh, well, I can guess what these are now. In which case, they're pretty much dead, but maybe I can get the water skiing off before Strike goes Black Omen. I don't think so, but if I can, it's actually probably cost me more gale, never mind. <laughs> Even if I... Oh, wait. That wasn't the end of that? Well, that kind of surprises me because I thought the only thing that used slow 2 was fuzzies and... and those guys, uh... Yeah, this is starting to weird me out. Those guys would have been dead after a uh, Black Omen, regardless of what else happened. But I guess wizards must also be able to cast that. Good to know. Skills, Terra, Magic Cure. I'm glad that the cursor in the menus is different from the cursor in battle because that makes it easy to have her use attacking spells in battle and curing spells in. Uh, not in battle. Actually, let's just double check that no one died real quick. I don't know why. That's. Mm, I. I was didn't think anyone had, but I had already thought I was starting to reach the end before, so it makes me paranoid that I was way off base. But yeah, that that should be enough, hopefully. Walk around the box, and now I go into the next room. This area is just actually very nice to me. Right, down, left, up. It exactly where I want to go, that's kind of where it takes me. Okay, going down. Okay, so... Actually, both of you should be doing the same thing. So I don't even need to try. And both... I, sh I can just hold A in here, that's pretty nice. Provided I don't run out of MP. Hooray, Mog did something. Whether it was something useful, I'm not sure, but it sounds like it's a side attack. I won't complain. As long as it's not a side attack on the floating continent, because... yeah. There, I have memories of a particularly unfond side attack. Now that I think about it, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, because that was in the bloopers. And, of course, they all died before they did anything, so let's just continue on. Let's just keep on keeping on. Uh, I think I stole someone else's phrase there, but whatever. All the way down to the bottom. All the way to the left. Oh, another battle. Let's just continue with my A-holding strat. It's pretty, pretty hard to beat. <laughs> I'm using the utmost skill that anyone ever has in Brave New World ever. Considering I don't even need to multi-target anything. Wait. It sounded like Mog was dancing on the left, but that can't make any sense. Because an enemy attacked before me, which means it's not a side attack. And it's not a back attack because I can't get any back attacks. Oh gosh. I really hope I'm not... I really hope they didn't just nail the characters that I want to have tons of MP still, because that would be annoying. Particularly if they hit Terra, because that's going to cost me a whole ton of tinctures. I wasn't expecting two rasps in one battle. Skills, Terra... No, that's not Terra, because I'm being an idiot. Let's go back to items, and... I don't even really need to check if anyone's dead, it's just that I need to make sure. Kills, Terra, Magic, here. Well, she still has some MP at least. But I don't think Rasps would have knocked her out completely of MP at this point. So that's no indication of anything really. 
best case scenario is they hit Shadow or Mog because they're not using their MP for a darn thing. Wait. I forgot a step. I have to go left first and then up. Hopefully I just ran into a rock face because otherwise I'm not sure where, I, where I'm going to be. Okay, that's probably a good sign. continue what I was doing. I think I probably got another preemptive slash side attack. Hooray! Mog did his thing again. Mog still stumbles a bunch, so I can't rely on him too much, I guess, but... Hopefully that should just wipe whatever's there. Not really. Okay. I know what enemies they are now, I'm pretty sure. In which case, they're pretty much dead now. They're not taking that. The magic cure. Up to the top. I was probably pretty close to the top already, given where I got that battle. One, two, all the way to the left. Now I go onto the next screen, which means that I'm back in. I have to use Fire 3 land. Which is unfortunate, because Terra's MP is more valuable than Stragos, but. One back. Two down. Taking the corners here is the pretty much the only tricky part of the navigation in this segment. It's the only part where I've got to count a bunch of stuff out and. Not just walk in a straight line or a pseudo diagonal. Alright, seems like I've made it across the bridge. Up one, left one. Now I should be lined up with this now. Alright, now I need to actually switch back in between my two strats again. Yeah, as expected, this is Shadow. This is Terra. One, two, three. There's definitely one Cerberus in this fight, at least. Okay, so you are Mog, so I'll put you on Earth Blues again. Perhaps conserve some healing or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. At least Terra hasn't run out of MP yet. <laughs> Strago can get hurt pretty bad by these guys if they counter-attack him a lot. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. All the way up to the top. MP's pretty tight, even if everything goes absolutely flawlessly. So... There's a good chance someone will run out. If it's Strago, I'll just Osmos and... But the battle will get a little bit more dangerous. If it's Terra, I'll, I'll burn a Tincture or something for another Fire 3 casting. One, two, one, two. But I won't move to do that until after the battle where I run, know that I've run out. So I still gotta fight one battle without Fire 3s. Alright, so I should be in this uh, cave here now. Around the box. And out. Now I go right and up. I'm not in the cave anymore, so no need to switch back and forth between strats. Reach the uh, cliff up here. Run into this wall. Hopefully everything's gone to plan, but there's still one humongous wrench that this game can throw at me right now, and that's having me hit the ice dragon. Because, as you might guess, that's kind of awkward. I'd much prefer to face him at the beginning of the next mini-segment, as opposed to the end of this one. But I may have no choice, so at least I'm somewhat prepared for this battle. One step to the left. Now I run into the gauntlet. Alright. I, I used a trick with the menu there to tell when I hit the wall. That couldn't have been the ice dragon in the first place. So I wasn't worried there. Uh, 
Well, healing. That's not so useful when I haven't taken damage yet. That's better than... Oh, wait. I forgot that I wasn't supposed to have Mog dance for the first battle in the ice area. Whatever. I'll at least have an easy chance when I get to the Tri Talk segment. Skills, Terra, Matt. Wait, what? Okay. Where am I? Uh oh. Am I still in battle or not? Okay, I'm definitely not in battle. Stupid music. I'm wasting time here. I could run into the ice dragon just because I'm wasting time in this menu and there we go. I'll go back to item because two out of the item menu. Oh, so I thought. Ugh, why do my menus feel so weird? Skills. Well, now I don't know if I move my cursor again. This is annoying. This is why I don't normally try to... You know what? Dried meats for everyone. Have fun. Oh, she ate a lot. Don't want to waste any more time. You get me killed. The one time I shouldn't be making menu... Well, I guess it's because I tried to exit out of the item menu without... Uh, exiting out of the entire menu, which I don't normally try to do. Thankfully, if I'm in the back uh, right corner, the Ice Dragon... I'm fairly safe-ish from the Ice Dragon there, I think. I don't think the Ice Dragon's very likely to walk back there compared to other places, but I hope I don't eat my words on that. Okay, no more battles are coming. So I'm gonna go left and up. Okay, not an Ice Dragon, it's just chumps. Um... Yeah, just keep, just keep going with what's working right now. Okay, I don't seem to be hearing much on them offensively. Okay, thinking I made it out of the fight. Thankfully, my route mostly takes me out around the outer edges. Which is good to avoid the ice dragon. But it's not perfect. But I think I made it. There we go. Well, that seems to have gone mostly as planned, except for those menu kerfuffles, which I guess aren't too big a deal. Alright. So I guess we'll call. Oh, no. I'll, I'll probably do the ice dragon in this one as well. Alright then, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, uh, simply initialing, initiating contact with this dragon seems to be extremely annoying. And it doesn't help that I always get a battle in the first two steps, apparently, because I guess I hadn't gotten a battle for a while before I hit the save point. Okay, this is Mog. Okay, now that I'm set up, just uh, initiating the fight with this dragon is pretty annoying because he runs around randomly and I can't tell where he is. I prefer not to run around randomly myself and also how get to a bunch of encounters probably, so... Apparently that's the end of that. So I want to try and just stand there and wait until he gets to me, but he can seem to get locked towards the bottom of the screen pretty easily. So... That's a bit of a problem. Left, down, left, down. Oh, got lucky. Right near the start, too. Okay. Okay, you wasted your turn. Wait. 
Yeah, I'm being dumb because I... For some reason I just assumed my cursors would be where they were during my test runs to start out with. Flame scroll. Not even bothering with Fenrir, to be honest. Um... What do I want to do? I want you to do Earth Blues if you're Mog. And you're not Mog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mostly just because he'll probably dispel it before anything useful comes out of it, so who cares? Wait, what? Okay, this is what I thought I'd be in. I guess I made the same mistake as earlier. It's so weird how dance sounds like it's on the left side of the screen. It drives me nuts. Where's Terra, anyway? There she is. She's already on... F oh, I assumed she was on Fire 3. One, two... Ugh, go away, Dispel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so maybe Shadow's turn came up just to mess with me, apparently. Maybe this is Strykos' turn for some reason? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's hard to hear the noises sometimes. Oh yeah, right. I mixed it up player one and player two, apparently. So yeah, here's Terra, Fire 3. Strago came up at just the wrong moment, too. Oh well, Shadow's dead. Goodbye, Shadow. I'll have to heal him up with Strago's next turn, hopefully. I'm not bothering to keep my characters healed. The Ice Shield should prevent any team wipes. I just need to keep enough people alive to not be dead, and namely one at least. Although presumably I'd want more than one at any given moment in time. Phoenix Down Shadow. Fire 3 him to the face. Terra does so much damage with these Fire 3s. She pretty much hits the damage cap, so... Well, he wasted his turn. I've also got that to my advantage. He'll do that sometimes. Strago. Uh, I'm not gonna trust myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I wasn't sure... I wasn't entirely sure... Oh, cold dust. Haven't had that happen in any test runs. Because I, I'm... S I wasn't entirely sure that I was on rays. For all I know, I messed it up when I was messing around with my cursors earlier. That did nothing. Besides, presumably, heal Strago. She's not on freezing. You just continue to raise him. He's not on freezing, so I guess Mog is frozen. Or maybe Cold Dust can miss in Brave New World, I don't know. But I haven't heard Mog in a while, so I'm gonna assume... That Mog is busy being an icicle, which is okay because I don't really care. Although, of course, if he's dead, I probably want to revive him. But I don't think he's dead, so I'm not going to jump to that conclusion. Just keep pelting him with stuff until he inevitably does something dangerous once or twice. <laughs> That's pretty much the fight. Because... And, and in a normal game, it would be really no threat whatsoever, not with three ice guards, because I could just revive anyone who dies, and that's it. That's the ball game. But here, it's actually tricky to revive people who die. Although, just randomly guessing, I should have at least decent odds if... I... If it ends up being that more than one person dies. But... If I can just keep holding A for the rest of the fight, I won't complain. The you know, only annoying thing about Mog being f the one who's frozen is that he can't unfreeze himself. Oh, well, Mog got hit there. Presumably he's still alive, but... But that physical attack also might have done something. Strago's alive. Let's just keep mental track. Terra's alive. 
It's up with your counterattacks, they're kind of in my way. Shadow's alive. Mog's alive. Everyone's alive, so I'm all good. The only person... Well, apparently decided to use Ice 3 there. I don't think that's a counterattack, because... I don't think he can use Ice 3 as a counterattack if I hit him with Avalanche. Because it's not hitting his weakness. I actually prefer half the time in this challenge uh, just hitting the weakness and not setting up buffs. It seems to be a lot easier, to be honest. So far, at least. Except for in the Storm Dragon fight. But there I had some decent damage anyway, so I wasn't too worried. So far, he really hasn't done a whole lot, even less than in my test runs. Cold Dust is probably the worst thing he's done so far. So let's at least try to get a handle on who's frozen, so that if somebody dies later, I can hopefully work things out a little bit better. And hopefully Terra's not the one frozen, because she does so much damage. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Forget it. I don't even care anymore who's frozen. Not that I could figure it out either way. Goodbye, Ice Dragon. Cure. <laughs> One cure spell for the entire fight. That's ridiculous. Up. Right and up. Hey, does that mean Shadow's dead or something? Because... I don't know. Whatever, I can check now. Nope, it was legitimately just one cure spell. That surprises me just a little bit because, uh... Shouldn't Shadow have been lower after getting murdered by Surge at the start? Maybe it missed him and then I just threw a Phoenix down on him randomly. I'm sure that <coughs> I'm sure if that was the case, it was pretty funny to watch. So, I'll see you next time.